Hello, friends. Are you facing random crashing issues of iTunes on your Windows 7 PC while accessing it with a specific user account? Here are the steps to resolve the issue. First of all, create a system restore point before starting the troubleshooting process. To do so, right click on the computer icon on the desktop and then click Properties. On the System window, click System Protection in the left pane. On the System Properties window, click Create under System Protection tab. Type the name for the restore point and then click Create. Wait for the process to complete and then click Close. Click OK and then close the system window. Now you can start the troubleshooting process. Before proceeding, make sure that hidden files and folders are visible on your PC. To do so, right-click on the computer icon on the desktop and then click Open. Click the Organize tab on the top left of the window that opens and then click Folder and Search Options from the drop-down menu. Under View tab, check the circle next to Show Hidden Files, Folder and Drives and then click OK. Now navigate to C Drive, Users, Username, App Data, Local and Apple Computer. Click and drag the iTunes folder to the desktop. Now open iTunes to check if the issue still persists or not. If it does, move the iTunes folder back and then close the window. Now navigate to the second iTunes folder that is located at C Drive, Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer. Remove the iTunes folder by right-clicking on it and clicking Delete. And then close the window. Now you need to create a new iTunes library. To do so, hold the Shift key while opening iTunes. You will be prompted to choose iTunes Library. Choose Create Library to create a new one. You will be prompted to select a location to save the new iTunes library. Give a name to the new iTunes library and then click Save. To select the original library, use the Shift key when opening iTunes. When prompted to choose iTunes Library, click on Choose Library, navigate to the location of the original iTunes Library, and then click Open. If the random crashing issue is still not resolved, you need to check for content files with issues. To do so, quit iTunes. Navigate to the iTunes folder by double-clicking on C Drive, Users, Username and My Music. Move the iTunes library.itf file to your desktop. Open iTunes. You should not see any content in iTunes. From the file menu, choose Add File to Library. Navigate to the folder where your music is located. Typically it is C Drive, Users, Username, My Music, iTunes, iTunes Media. Choose an artist, album or single song to add it to the library. Wait for iTunes to successfully add the songs to your library and perform the gapless playback scan. If successful, continue adding back more songs to your library. If there is an issue with one of your files, you will notice your issue reappear after you attempt to add it to the library. At this point, you should repeat these steps, being careful not to add the files that cause the issue to occur. See, that wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching.